Okay, so continuing on from our previous tutorial on how to create a grid, I just wanted to show you how to deal with the situation when you've got several lines that you're using to grid, but maybe you don't want to grid all of them. Maybe you only want to grid half of them. And so you can see on the screen here was some magnetic data we collected. And from about halfway, um, the southern half of the grid is very poor quality data. There was, um, I actually had a magnetic rim in my hat that I didn't realize. Hence the fact it's absolutely terrible data. So I want to exclude that from my grid, but I don't want to delete the data because I want to keep it just in case. You never, ever, ever know. This. You could use this for teaching purposes later on. So you can see on the left is my grid, on the right is my database with all of my lines. And I can view my lines by clicking in the top left corner, right click and go to list. And you can see it's line 0 to line 19. Now I only want to show the first 9 because I know, oh, it might even be the first 8 because um, I know that the rest of them were the problems. So I, yeah, I'm going to show line 0 to 9. So first of all, there's two things I want to show you. So first of all, let's just show you how to only plot the data for line 0 to 9. So what I'm talking about is Let's plot all the data first. So I click on my database, I go map tools, line path, and so I'm going to plot lines representing where I collected all the data. Label location, I'm going to click on none. I don't want my lines to be labeled, just for simplicity. Okay, so you can see all my lines going down. Now say I only wanted to show the first nine lines, how would I do that? I would right click on this blue top left hand block, go down to selections, go to selection tool, and then I can, you can see all of these lines are ticked, but I want to go to line 9 and highlight all the way down to 19. So how would you do that? You click on 9, you hold down shift on your keyboard, and you drag down to the bottom, holding down your shift, you click on 19, and it's selected all of them. You can see. So now I'm going to go deselect highlight it. So line 9 to 19, I don't want to be ticked because I don't want to plot them. Click OK. And you can double check again. You just go here, right click list. And you can see there's no ticks next to the bottom one. Now if I go map tools, line path, OK. You can see it's just plotted the first nine lines. And it's, yeah, it's, it hasn't created a new file because we just, yeah, all we've done is use the original file here, we've deselected some of it. If I had taken this file, this database, sorry, copied it, and then deselected, and then plotted it, it would have given me the original plot, as well as the new plot, because I would have had two files that I was plotting up. But because we've kept one file here, one database, and we've just made changes to it, it automatically writes over the previous set of lines. Okay, that's all in good, but maybe you want to show the client your data and you don't want to include this lower section of data. So all you do is you just regrid. So once again, make sure that you've deselected the bottom lines or the one or two lines you don't want to include. Go here to grid and image, gridding, we were using minimum curvature before. I'm gridding this diurnal column because that's the diurnal removed. Um, previously we were playing with grid cell size. Today I'm just going to use the default diurnal and I'm going to write here L0 to L9 so I know I'm only plotting those. Click on OK and give it a second to plot it up. OK. And so you can see if I put these two next to each other and if I click on the larger one here and I click on the earth so that it's full extent and I still click again and I click on this middle of the three squares so change extent on all maps, you can see it shrinks this map to the same extent as this one. And so we really are just plotting these upper parts, these upper lines that are collected. And I can even plot line location by going line path. Okay, it's just going to plot. Oh. oh, sorry. The reason why it hasn't plotted here is because you can see actually this image is selected. So it's plotting on here. Make sure you select the image where you want it to plot. Map tools, line path, OK, OK, and you can see it plotted that up there. So I've shown you now how to, maybe if you've got multiple lines in a database and you only want to plot one of them, how to do that. And then also how to grid just a small section of your database.